It is a women's strawweight matchup between Joanna Yeomjacek and Joanna Yeomjacek. All right, here is Poland's best, Joanna Yeomjacek. She really is the total package, Daniel Cormier, as a fighter inside the octagon and as an intimidator outside of it. I mean, that, that stare down will cut a man like me right down. Oh, it's unbelievable, John. I mean, just the, the mind game that Joanna can play on her opponents is unreal. Every time I think about, I think about how she tortured Carla Esparza leading into her first UFC championship fight. It seemed as though Esparza just wanted to be done with it by the time the whole thing was over. But you can only talk so much. Ultimately, you have to back it up, and Joanna and Jacek sure can back it up. All right, so here's the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Jacek for a while there as she dominated all of the top contenders. You wondered if there was ever going to be someone who could solve Ioana Jacek at 115 pounds. Still most believe she's the best striker in this division. She's one of the best strikers across all divisions in the UFC, regardless of gender. Very fast, very durable, very tough, but also Ioana Jacek and her attitude is what I believe carries her to be most successful. She has this mentality that she believes she is just the absolute best in this division, and you saw it when she was on that long championship reign. And she has been someone who's really maximized some big pay-per-view showcases. She was on the Ronda Rousey Holly home card at UFC 193, fought alongside Conor McGregor at UFC 205. She has the it factor and then some. Joanna Champion is back tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Both fighters are 32. And they have the same height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yachechev. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yerojachev! All right, give me through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Two decorated strikers here, and I would think even a world-class wrestler like yourself still enjoys a classic stand-up affair like this every now and then. Oh, yeah, I love this one. I love this one because both of these women know that the easiest way to get their hands raised is to fight in the area that they are best. Both of them are fantastic strikers. One is much more powerful. One is much more quick. Let's see who gets the job done. What a punch. Nice right hand there from Ioana Yeomjacek. She's got that look in her eye tonight. 
That'll scare a lot of men, never mind women. I mean, the boogie woman, right? Doesn't she call you. herself the boogie woman? She's the boogie woman that's coming for you. And you see that she's back in that state that allowed her to become the longest reigning strawweight champion in UFC history. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fighting behind her jab. Oh, nice jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go! Oh, she blocks the punch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? And they separate. Beautiful kick. One, two there by Yeo Zhaichen. Well, she continues to stay busy, and no surprise, she continues to connect with these punches. She's so fast and so accurate, and also the cardio allows her to fight at such a great pace. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Ioana Jacek. Good punch land. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Ty clinch four here, we'll see what she can do with it. Oh, the right hand is there for beautifully timed and placed kick there by Yeon Jaichek. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take any more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grapple, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard up the top. <laughs> Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Back and forth we go. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Use your hands to set up that low kick now. Two minutes remain in the round. Get out of there. Jacek gets hit with a kick. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Yeon Jaichek. Head kick by Yohan Yeon Jaichek. That is high level striking, man. She blocked the punch. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Such a fast leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, there's that patented Ioana Young Jacek jab. Might be the best jab for any man or woman in the UFC at present. Her head coach, Mike Brown, certainly thinks so. Big punch land. Ooh. Head kick land. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Another clinch position. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, round two is now underway. Right. Interesting approach by right. both women in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process there. Exactly. You knew it was going to be a tough, very competitive close fight. I believe that was shown in round number one. Take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well placed kick there by Yolani Young Jay Chen. Straight punch land. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, that left eye of hers really starting to show signs of bruising. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Jacek. And striking at a 44% clip against Ioana Jacek. Jacek going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Clinch. Look at the turnover in that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Yeah, Jacek gets caught with that punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just over three minutes to go. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. <laughs> well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Head kick. Nice punch there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Caught that kick there. Well, now she's really starting to time her opponent. Beautiful punch lands there shortly after she caught the leg. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Big kick land. There's no give on that leg kick. Another big leg kick lands. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Yeon know, Jacek's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good stick. Oh, man, head kick land. Way to hide that leg kick. Right punches there. Spinning back fist. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. Big kick. Big leg kick lands. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Big head kick. Big combination. We got to fight, folks. Oh. 
what a fight so far. Well, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very good match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does this one in the next. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, she blocks the punch. Well, Young Jacek in a really good striking groove here. Cattell Kubis, Mike Brown in her corner really like what they have seen here early out of the former strawweight queen. Nice kick. Well, she missed with that right hand. Oh, inside leg kick. I mean, you could hear the thwack from here. Yeah, right away you hear it. You hear the impact at which she's landing this kick. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. Big leg kick land. Oh, and there's another leg kick. Just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage, a, a one-legged fight. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle right in front of the right. long through lion. That is not a great position to be. Three minutes to go. Well, normally his fights don't last this long, but 133 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Jacek. And connecting with 46% accuracy tonight, by the way, against Ioana Jacek. Very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take any more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check those kicks. Straight right hand, but she misses. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really light her up now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Great punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, now she's got that tie clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any idea that that kick is coming. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. 90 seconds remain in the round. Yo, know, Jacek going for the head kick. No dice. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Well, back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Under a minute now to go in the round. You know, Jacek's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, 
smart to work the body. Nice head kick. 20 seconds to go. Nice Lucas punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, she put everything into that leg kick. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is causing her opponent. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? All right, so next round getting underway here, and if you look at these two women, you may think it's the start of the fight. Absolutely impressive where their cardio is at here as we hit this next round, and you wonder what it's going to take to tire these women out, at least if the first couple rounds are any indication they look like they could go 25 hard minutes with ease. Nice leg kick there by Yeong Junction. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey, feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, and she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be fine in its target. Big kick lands. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Kick the leg out. Punch over the top. Oh, how did she get that knee to the head? Well done. Lands flush with that right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, how does he even put any weight on that lead leg? Look at the bruise on the outside of her thigh. That one coming. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Good punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Keep busy, keep busy. Hook to the body here, blocked by Yeon Jai Chen. That'll do it! So a big TKO victory for her here tonight. She executed to a T, and she makes a major statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Joanna Yachechev. There she is, big win by TKO tonight, and really everything she said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on Fight. Oh yeah, she made it happen. She willed it into existence. Anyone that would listen to her, she told them, I am going to finish this fight by TKO. She got that exact finish tonight. Exactly what she wanted, she got it done.